said I'm a crush it. Unlike a lot of the people that I have worked with, I'm not familiar with the world of nonprofits and the whole like hierarchy and bureaucracy that goes along with it. So I just look at things differently. And so to me, instead of trying to get someone an entry level job over and over and over, if they're not having luck with that, we're trying to focus on things like entrepreneurship, starting their own business, emphasizing their own skills so they can actually work for themselves because it's not really kind of pushed upon this culture to work for yourself. That's the way I was raised. My parents own their own businesses, my father does, my grandfather started his own business. And I couldn't imagine only working for another company. Right. So when you come in here and, and you're taking your idea and, I'm oh, sorry, I've got to have to move it. You know, you're taking this idea and you're projecting it for the people you're helping. How are you taking that uh, that mentality and helping the people that are coming here? What What are you doing different? You just, you told me you're doing so many things different at each center and I think You've, you've got a little niche here that you're helping with. You've got resume building. There's, and, well, there's and two skills. reasons. We are really, we have a great advantage. We, we have the East Side Neighborhood Employment Center here. Uh -huh. So we have a whole staff that just works on employment, resume building, job help. And that's so, a separate, so, they uh, well, their separate they're their own 501 c nonprofit, but we're a partner with them through BGC mm -hmm. in this building. And on top of that, so I, I only really have to focus on healthcare, technology, and education. Mm -hmm. So because the employment for me is taken out of it. So I just, I don't think about that aspect, which is kind of what's the other difference. And I look at it as a marketing scheme. What is our product? How are they gonna wanna come back if it's no good? If they come for a computer lesson and they don't get anything out of it, why would they come back? So I, I just look at it as more of a product and even though they don't pay us for a service, we're providing a service and they're our customers. So I think of them as customers more than I do just people that come in the door. Awesome. Tell me a little bit more about that ABC program. Oh, the computer ABCs is really, really great. I have so many people um, that come in from the health center above. There's an adult living center above us. And now we have people from the outside that come in about 15 to 20 people a week every Wednesday. They come in and it's computer ABCs for adults. I stress that it's for adults because uh, adults want to hear that, oh, it's ABCs. Like, it's step by step. And uh, like I said, I go over... Every, every single thing that I do, I explain to them. I don't make a click without explaining what I do. And that puts everybody at ease because they don't feel like I'm racing ahead of them. They don't feel like I know so much more. And I always tell them, kids aren't smarter nowadays. They didn't suddenly jump in IQ over the last 20 years, but these kids know technology because they know the small, simple steps to figure it out. And if you can figure out a Game Boy, you can figure out Twitter, you can figure out Facebook. You can figure out any application on a computer. So I try to teach those little shortcuts that you can, the places you can look, look in the upper left hand corner and look in the upper right hand corner and the X is always on this side and if it says cancel or okay you can always click cancel and all these little steps that you and I take for granted and that someone who's never used a computer or has but doesn't feel comfortable using a computer I go step by step with everything I do. It just, it's really great because I have a lot of patience and I like to go slow and they really are learning a lot. They can, like I said, they can log in by themselves nowadays. They can put things like underscores, characters they're not familiar with, and they're used to the whole system now. They come in at, like clockwork every week. And you said you've built up uh, members from the community that are now coming in and, and using your resources. What kind of things are they doing when they come here, other than your classes? Uh, well, a lot of them are, the best thing about the classes is I teach them stuff teach them skills, little tools and tips, and then they can stay and use them on the computer themselves. Like I mentioned before, our computers have a program called it's, that limits basically anything from installing permanently. As soon as they, re they restart, it's clean. So they can try, they can click away, they can change any setting they want, and there's no permanent damage. Because as soon as we restart, it's fine. So I really encourage that, and I say, hey, stay after class, click around on some stuff. A lot of resume building, they're using Google Voice now because you can have free voicemail and free phone calls through things like that. They don't even know about like document storage, Google Docs, they love the idea of sharing photos with family members online. And uh, a lot of, some of them are starting their own small businesses too. The, there's someone who come in here, we're trying to encourage them that they have carpentry skills to try to solicit things like using Craigslist, putting ads up like that. So we're just kind of, I'm encouraging them to think differently about how they could work and how they could use technology because no one ever told them that they could use it for all these different things. I can tell you, the people here are so lucky because just talking to you gets me excited about what you're it doing gets me here. excited. I really love teaching these computer lessons and having new people come in. And at first they're a little hesitant and I just use my personality to kind of 
loosen them up, and they always do. And it's a comfortable atmosphere. You don't have to worry. No matter how much or how little you know, you can learn something from the ABCs class. There's people that, I, we have a volunteer who works at Oracle, and sometimes he'll sit in the class just to play around with me, and he'll be like, oh, like, I like the way you explain that. To, because even someone who knows a lot about computers doesn't think about it in the most simple terms sometimes. And I think you've got a lot of community inv engagement going on here. Uh, other than just learning computer skills and having them available, you've got uh, the chance to build a strong community by giving them a place to come. As, as I mentioned, I like uh, people come in after I talk to them, and I can convince them that, hey, there's no, like, I'll take the time with you. We're here for you just to learn computers or whatever you want to tackle, whether it's education or learning more about healthcare. So just having a face to relate all these things to is great. And we've only been here for two months with the Pittsburgh Connects, and already we have regulars and people that recognize us, and they refer friends. What I say is I'd much rather have one person who likes our services refer three friends than try to advertise and bring somebody new in, because then they have an established relationship. It's just like any other corporate marketing scheme. You know, a promoter helps bring a few people in, a detractor pushes away far more. So if someone doesn't like it, they're gonna tell eight people. If they love it, they're gonna tell three. I just try to make sure we maximize those people that like it. I think the best thing too is you might be looking at it as a marketing scheme, but the benefit that you are, you are getting and that you are bringing to the community is so not a corporate benefit. Yeah, and that's why it's funny to almost have a corporate mentality in this whole nonprofit world. Because like I said, there's no we don't charge anything. There's no we only provide free services. But I try to deliver them here as if we were being paid for it. That's the type of level of service we should provide. And I don't want anyone to leave feeling like they didn't they got gypped or they didn't get help. So